Scientists have linked health with diet time and time again. In fact, it plays a key role in some of the most common diseases today, such as obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Current diet recommendations generally include decreased meat intake and increased consumption of fruits and vegetables. This led to the popularization of the vegetarian diets. The most popular vegetarian diets include lacto-vegetarian, lacto-ovo-vegetarian, and vegans. A vegetarian diet is commonly understood to forbid meat and fish, but to allow both eggs and dairy. The word vegan takes this concept to the next level, cutting out every item of animal origin. Vegan refers to anything that's free of animal products, no meat, milk, eggs, wool, leather, honey, and so forth. Veganism is notably different from other diets, as it affects other areas of someone's life outside of diet. Many vegans do not wear clothing that was made from animals, such as leather or fur, and do not use household items that are sourced from animals, such as goose down pillows. Other concerns are typically sustainability practices and locally sourced food. But how does veganism compare to these other vegetarian and non-vegetarian diets? Researchers in the Journal of General Internal Medicine found that following a vegan diet will result in a greater weight loss compared to other vegetarian diets. In terms of incidence of common diseases, the vegetarian diet led to a significantly reduced risk of incidence and mortality of ischemic heart disease and a significantly reduced risk of various forms of cancer when compared to an omnivorous diet. Now that we've heard from the researchers, let's take a look at what some of the prominent healthcare practitioners think about veganism and its health effects. In an interview given to CNN in 2015, prominent heart surgeon Dr. Ellsworth Wareham described the vegan diet as the key to his long and healthy 104 years old life. According to him, the vegan diet helped manage his cholesterol and increase the quality of his life. Vegan diets have been associated with several health benefits including reductions in cholesterol, blood pressure, and blood glucose levels. As mentioned earlier, the vegan diet has been shown to have a preventative role in cancer risk through its ability to influence protein complexes within the body. Simply put, the physiological machinery known as mTOR1 complex, responsible for the production of proteins commonly found in cancer, is suppressed. Therefore, the generation of these harmful proteins and the subsequent cancer risk is also suppressed. One important pitfall of the vegan diet to address is vitamin deficiency. Vegetarian and vegan diets are associated with increased risk for nutrient deficiencies, such as vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is primarily derived from animal meat and is important for cell division, specifically with red blood cells and DNA production, and is also tied to proper nervous system functioning. There are several consequences that can result from this deficiency, one of which is neurological damage, unless it is substituted for in the diet. As a result, with vegan diets, individuals may have to rely on supplementations to get the recommended vitamin intake. Now that we've discussed the research and consulted a physician, let's talk to someone that has tried the diet. A dear friend of mine who I've known for maybe five years now, she went vegan and I didn't really understand why. And through some conversations, I became curious about it and I decided to educate myself about veganism. And eventually I went vegan. Yeah, I was hungry. I was hungry a lot. That's not, I'm not going to hide it. I was, I was pretty hungry. After like an hour or two after my meal, um, I feel hungry again. So lots of snacking. Um, my metabolism, I think, was moving a little bit faster. So I noticed that as well. But overall, some, some great changes, more energy, faster metabolism. I used to have very, very horrible skin. Um, it, and I still struggle with it a little bit, but my skin improved a lot. So I was tired less often. Here, a lot of people think ve uh, veganism is really expensive, and it can be. But I found that, like, I was going through the meat uh, and thinking about what I wanted to cook that week, and I was like, meat is so expensive, and I noticed cheese was really expensive, and I was just like, I wonder what would happen if I just cut all that out. I'm not getting the B12 that I need, so I need to make sure I take it in a supplement. Soy milk, you can eat nutritional yeast. I eat a lot of nutritional yeasts. yeast. It's, it tastes kind of cheesy. On your salads, I put it on my chili. Um, beans are a really important one. You need to get your protein, like you need to make sure you're getting all your amino acids. Quinoa has the full amino acid profile that you need, so quinoa is a great one. I love tofu, I love beans, um, calcium you can get from dark green leafy veggies, so I eat lots of kale, um, bok choy, broccoli.
One of the most important books that I read about veganism was How Not to Die. And the author's name is Dr. Michael Greger, I believe, and he's a, he's a physician, he's an MD, and he wrote this book that summarizes all this research that basically points to a whole food plant-based diet as a way to prevent, um, you know, prevent lots of awful chronic illnesses that we have. To summarize, a vegan diet is composed of fruits, vegetables, and other products, but excludes any kind of animal byproducts. Secondly, some health benefits of a vegan diet include lower risks of cancer and heart diseases. Lastly, some pitfalls include vitamin deficiency, which can affect the proper functioning of the nervous system. Thank you for listening, and we hope that you gain some knowledge on veganism and are able to make a more informative choice for yourself.